industrial revolution sees these three or four big waves the steam engine railroad then it sees electricity right uh these are sort of the major subsidiary inventions and then one can argue even the automobile and similarly with the tech as we know it today there's the semiconductor there's the internet now people are arguing artificial intelligence is going to be yet another one of those you can call them waves or you can call them subsidiary inventions as you say, as you term them but each of these subsidiary inventions for me interestingly and i love your view on this allows new winners and losers to emerge so if you have one of the steam engine game that it's not necessary that you will win at the railroad game if you won at the railroad game there's no guarantee that you'll win at the electricity game you know the sub games and to me you know as i think about the great tech game i i believe that with each wave or each subsidiary mention that's major like the internet is currently or artificial intelligence promises to be you might see emergence of new winners and losers because sometimes in companies just don't um, focus on the right thing in the next emerging wave yeah so well, you know people get set in their ways i mean kodak dominated is um, exactly. america for the world photography year there's no longer in business um, that's right one digital photography came around kodak just could not adapt to it and so it became a dinosaur and that happens all the time and also sometimes very surprising winners don't think about or... yeah no i mean nokia is another example blackberry people talk about it in the context of apple right i mean blackberry was in 2007 probably massive market share as did nokia and then suddenly the apple iphone comes around and uh, they just don't see that smart smartphone wave coming you know and uh, nokia and blackberry just missed that complete uh, wave uh completely and blackberry i think is now almost one if not gone fully and there's several such examples in 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 i think technological waves and i think that's partly why one could argue that the us and us tech firms are paranoid about if i may use that word paranoid about any tech challenges because in technology the pace as it, as we are seeing the development of technology is now moving at such a fast pace that compared to history that you actually you got to be paranoid about that next guy that next startup that next entrepreneur whereas i think if you talk about the context of fire and agriculture and even the steam engine the pace of development of technology was much slower it seems um uh, and hence you needed not you didn't need to be as paranoid but today it's almost like the winner at the great tech game has got to be paranoid Yeah, this certainly has speeded up tremendously. I mean, we're only 50 years past the invention of the semiconductor. The world has already changed beyond recognition. But the steam engine was patented in 1769, but by what 1719 or 1819, the world hadn't changed all that much. It was to change, but it took much longer. I mean, it wasn't up until the mid 19th century that that's when the world by that time the world had really changed. Thanks to the steam engine. but it took much longer now it takes you know new inventions change the world overnight one invention that i think is not getting enough attention at the moment is elon musk and spacex the reusable rocket that's uh, this hugely reduces the cost of of space travel and everything imagine how much it would cost to fly from new york to new delhi if that after the plane landed it was dragged off the airport and then, and thrown into a landfill. Um, <laughs> that's right. Well, that's what they used to do with rockets and now they're reusing them. It's absolutely amazing that I love to watch them when they're, you know, they're a new take off and the rocket comes down and lands boom right on the spot and you now it's ready to fly again in a couple of weeks.